Hello, everybody, and welcome. I am so thrilled to be here with some of the most awesome people on the planet from all over the planet. How does it get any better than this? So these are my global hosts, and just want to take a minute to introduce them all. And then they're each going to share one of their favorite tools so that, you know, any of you that would just like more inspiration with the tools or uh, another idea, or maybe it's going to be a tool you haven't heard of yet from Access Consciousness. So first off, I will introduce my sweet friend, Carrie. She is from Lloyd Minster, and she is hosting me for, well, we're actually going to co-facilitate a bars class. And then I am going to facilitate foundation in Lloyd Minster, Saskatchewan slash Alberta. It is a uh, border city. Yes. Say hello, Miss Carrie. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see everyone again. <laughs> Carrie and I have done a few Facebook lives. So uh, if you haven't found them, they are on. Well, they're around. We'll, we'll hook you up. <laughs> All right. And my sweet friend, Miss Tanya from Sitka, Alaska. How does it get any better than this? I am so thrilled to be heading there. It's not that I'm not thrilled to go to Lloyd Minster. It's just that I've been there a lot. <laughs> I have never been to Alaska, nor have I been to Sitka, obviously. So hello, Miss Tanya. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Good to see everyone. And I have to Can't tell you guys. To have you in Sitka, too. I'm so excited. It would be so good. <laughs> when Tanya and I first talked about me heading to Sitka, uh, she was outside and she turned her camera and there was mountains and there was an ocean and there was just beautifulness. And then she went out that evening uh, on a boat and there was whales and there was like it was just it's just the most magical magical place so I'm so excited to head there and now this is Miss Katarina from Helmstead Sweden did I say that correctly in Sweden yes it's sorry I, I had you on mute Katarina so okay. did I say it correctly <laughs> Halmstad is a correct name, yes. Awesome. Halmstad. <laughs> Halmstad. <laughs> yes. So and I, when she sent me uh, the ask if I would come and facilitate a, a magic class, a one-day class, and also a uh, foundation class, she sent me the most beautiful picture of, I believe it was a sunset, maybe it was a sunrise over the ocean. Yes, and sunset. Sunset, Yeah. She had me at the sunset. How did I get so lucky? So those <laughs> classes are in May of 2019. And in Alaska, that is July of 2019. And now I'm going to bring on my sweet friend, Alan, and my sweet friend, Diane. There we go. All right, Mr. Alan, so... I'm pretty sure everybody knows who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, just a few people might know who I am. <laughs> He's the hashtag poke the bear guy who, uh, yeah. who just loves to invite us to more. And I'm so excited. Alan's been hosting me in London, England for a few years now. And I'm excited exactly. to be heading there in September with Foundation. What were you going to say, Alan? About three or four years. I've been listening to you for four years. I think I've been hosting you for three years. Wow. This wow. is the third foundation. Amazing. Coming back Thank for you. more, baby. Coming back for more. <laughs> for more. Oh, awesome. Thank you. And my sweet friend, Diane, last Yay. but not least, yay, who got a brand new haircut, which I forgot to tell you, I absolutely love. Thank you. I absolutely love. You're getting and more hair and I'm getting less. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Diane is in Ottawa. And so I'm heading there actually just in three weeks for bars and foundation. And yeah. just so excited. This is my my second time and her second time hosting me. And um, I'm just really excited about the beaver tail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As a fellow Canadian, I'd never, ever even heard of that before. So it's actually a really tasty treat. Um, it's a dough and sugar and dough. cinnamon, if I remember correctly. So yeah, 
they do different they do different toppings but yeah it's a it's a dough in in the shape of a beaver tail it, it, it's what it is but it creates a lot of jokes and and fun and yeah I didn't send you pictures yeah <laughs> didn't send you pictures of rainbows or whales and it's just like come back and have a beaver tail <laughs> So I think people can tell I'm pretty easy. Give me a sunset, an ocean, or a beaver tail, and I'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mr. Allen, I know I know it's hard for you to, to be quiet with all of that, all the stuff you could be saying. But anyway, I'm going to bring on Carrie and Tanya again. So Allen and Diane will be back. Man, this is a really cool program, I got to tell you guys. Anybody's looking for an absolute awesome way to be doing these lives, uh, this is called BeLive.TV, and it's just amazing. Now, a hello to all of you who have joined us. Thank you, guys. Hello, Simone, Carrie, Carolyn, Julie. Thank you all for joining us. All right. So let's start with, uh, with Tanya from Alaska. What, uh, what would you say you're... It's hard to say a favorite tool, but what's a tool mm. that you've used and really enjoyed or had some success with? Yeah, and this is probably going to be, you know, it's really basic, but I'm fairly new to access. So I think I'm the only one in the group, correct, that has not yet taken foundation. And so, um, but I did make it to a bars class. So I got my butt to bars. <laughs> it was phenomenal. It was really, really, really so good. Um, and such a gift, not just to me, but has been a gift to my family. And um, one of my friends who was going through some things, I was able to um, be there for her and she, run her bars. And it did phenomenal things for her, just the first run, which was just, I think, day before yesterday. And she was floored by how well it worked. Um, but for me, with access and what I've learned so far, I think my, my well, again, like you said, it's hard to say favorite, but definitely my go-to is what else is possible. And like I said, I know this is just a basic foundation piece. You know it is in a program when it has its own acronym, right? I see W-E-I-P all over the place. And I figured out pretty quickly what it was. Um, but just for me, it is so helpful, especially, you know, not only when things are going great and you say, oh, what else is possible? And it opens up this whole new realm of possibilities and greatness. But also when things aren't going so great or necessarily the way that I had imagined they should be going. And you can say, well, what else is possible? And it just reminds you that you have infinite choices available to you and that, you know, it, you are not stuck where you're at presently. And so I just I just really love that. And um, can I share my little whale story from Please when we do. chatted yes. the first time? Because that for me was a time... Um, when I realized how much I really groove with access, if that's the right term. Uh, I can't think of a better way to explain it. Um, but again, being new to it, I was introduced to access by Glenise. So I came across her radio show by someone who had shared it in another Facebook group I belong to. And it just instantly felt like home to me. And Glenise's style and everything about uh, the way that she shared information just really really um, benefited me a lot. And so we had a chance to chat. I decided to invite her to Sitka. And again, you know, I had this moment when I'm like, why would she come to Sitka though? Like, yeah, maybe I don't need to email her. And then it was like, okay, but what else is possible, <laughs> you know? And so um, we had a chance to chat. She decided to come to Sitka that evening. I happened to have this wildlife cruise that my work was hosting. And uh, I was out there with my family. And we were out there and we hadn't seen whales pretty much the entire time. It was about a two hour cruise. And on our way back, you know, I was thinking, wow, you know, I just, yeah, I would love to see a whale. That would be so great. I would love to get it on video and share it with Glenise. Well, we end up seeing a whale. So a whale comes up and it's a humpback whale, which are commonly the type of whales you see in Sitka. And uh, it was beautiful. You know, it had gone down for a while and it, I wasn't sure if it was going to come back up. And I was using the tools from Access. And I said, dear sweet whale, would you please come up just one more time so we can see you a little more and I can, you know, get some good video. And not even 30 seconds later, after it had been down for like six minutes, it came up and tail came up and it was just wonderful. And I thought, wow. And at first I thought, 
you know, oh, it doesn't get any better than this, you know? But then I said, ooh, how does it get any better than this? And what else is possible, you know? And um, I just kept thinking that and just being so grateful for seeing the whale. And right before we got back to the dock, there was this pod of four female orcas that showed up that I haven't seen orcas. I've lived here for almost 30 years. I've never seen an orca myself. They're not common. And they were there and they were playing with the boat and two of them swam towards the boat and dipped underneath the boat. And it was just everything it was so great <laughs> and so uh for me yeah both of those like what else is possible and how does it get any better than this are just things that i incorporate daily all throughout the day in my life that have just done amazing things oh i love that and those videos and i think i had just posted that morning about coming to sitka and so you were able to link the photos underneath and oh my gosh everybody loved them it was just so magical so oh how does it get any better so thank you so much miss tanya uh -huh. i am going to um i'm going to come back to you when we end and now we'll actually head over to miss katarina and miss katarina do you have a tool that you love yes uh well i've only been with uh, access for about two two years and um, i uh, facilitate bars classes and um then i started to listen a friend uh, recommended glennis and i started to listen to her uh, for a couple of months ago and uh, i just uh, loved uh, her way of explaining it was some simple things that i really hadn't understood before and I just thought she was uh, magnif magnificent. So uh, I just, well, I just uh, sent her a message uh, and uh, thought that she maybe wanted to come to Sweden's most beautiful town, Halmstad, and I have a class here. So, and she would like to do that. So that's awesome. Uh, there are many, many tools that are really, really great. Uh, as Tonya said, uh, how does it get any better than this? And what more is possible? Uh, but I have interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Uh, I love that because you really get out of uh, the emotional charge uh, that makes uh, things a problem. And when you lose the the charge of the emotion you have, the the problem really solves itself and just goes away. So that is a really really good tool, and I've used it a lot. I was in a relationship before. There was a lot uh, with trauma and drama, and uh, <laughs> I had really good help with that. But uh, uh, then I created a new man. So I have got a new magical man now. <laughs> so yeah, I just love the access access stuff. It's so great. I'm so grateful, and so many good things have happened in my life, and my work and my business is growing. Yeah. So what more is possible? Yes, yes, and I can attest to her magical man. The other day when her and I were on a Zoom <laughs> chatting, he was in the background. So I got to see him and say hello to him and have a little chat with him. And he's very magical. So uh, how does it get any better than that? And that tool, interesting <laughs> point of view, it, it truly, I mean, all of them. And that's what I was going to say in regards to Tanya's, you know, how does it get any better? What else is possible? Those are the tools you learn. And that actually interesting point of view also, those are the tools you usually learn in a bars class. Those are the first tools that you usually use, or sorry, learn, and they are the still my go-to. You know, I've been playing with these tools for, for six, seven, I don't know, however many years now, and I know a lot of very advanced tools, and those tools are still the ones that change things so quickly. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Ms. Katerina. We will come back to you when we're finishing up. So Ms. Carrie, how about you? What do you... Uh, what, what tool do you like to use? Uh, lately, uh, Who Does This Belong To has been creating a lot of ease in my life. Uh, you know, yesterday 
typically shopping, uh, not a ton of fun for me running errands. And yesterday, just running that to uh, using the tool, who does it belong to? Uh, in and out of shops, you know, getting my stuff done. And it's so much ease, none of the spinning, you know, having the space to choose differently and uh, not getting into like any crazy making in the head. And it was a lot more fun to run errands than it has been in a long time. So I was, it was super exciting. Uh, I love to see the, you know, what it can create in my life. Uh, you know, and I know it's not per se a tool. I really came to the awareness today. My foundation manual, huge tool. I keep putting it away and I'm pulling it out. And finally, I just like, okay, you get a home on my desk. <laughs> I'm in and out of it often, you know, and it's awesome and I love it. Uh, so I'm just loving, you know, applying the tools in daily life. That's awesome, Carrie. And I love that because you're right. I mean, the, the manual isn't a tool, but it's the book of tools. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And one of the things that I heard in the very first foundation class that I took was, you know, whenever you were stumped or you were frustrated or you were spinning in that crazy, like Carrie was talking about, is pull out your manual and just randomly flip to a page. And whatever page you open to is usually the process or the tool that will get you out of that space and back into all of you. And that as I have used that a million times, it is, it is like magic how it's just you open it up and there it is. So, so thank you for bringing that piece up too, Carrie. And the other piece I wanted to talk about was the who does it belong to in case anybody isn't familiar with access consciousness, we talk about us being infinite beings that we're infinitely aware. So 99.9% of what goes on in your mind, your bank account, your body <laughs> everywhere is not yours. You're just aware of the crazy. And so what Carrie's talking about is when she was going shopping, instead of buying into that crazy, she was actually going, wait, who does that belong to? So maybe she was doing some shopping. I don't know what you're doing, Carrie, but like, hey, I can't afford that. Wait, who does that belong to? Doesn't mean she bought it, but at least it took her out of that crazy. So were you shopping, Gary? <laughs> I did. I did pick up a couple things. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Cool. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to bring Alan and Diane on and we'll bring um, these other guys back. So everybody will have a chance to be back on. Bring Alan. Hello. Hello, Mr. Alan. All right, so we've got Diane in Ottawa and Alan in England. So, Miss Diane, what what tool do you love, or uh, would you like to share today? So, I also really enjoy what else is possible because I find it like busts through energetic, you know, like when you're feeling constructed. But um, I think one of my other favorite tools that I've added to my energy toolbox is um, what would the planet be like in five years? You know, uh, it's if I do this or what would a planet be like in five years if I don't do this? And I shorten it and it's it's really a tool. And there I know there are different forms of that question. And it's it's really a tool to help you. I mean, I. You know, before this tool, I I knew about muscle testing, so I can kind of relate it to muscle testing. It's the idea of figuring out energetically um, what and when to do something, right? Not just what, but also the when, because it might not be right this minute. So if I get a no, I will often ask more questions to clarify. Is it like a permanent no, or is it just no now? Or is it like with a different person, or is it a different thing? So that's been a that's been a really uh, great tool for me to add uh, to my toolbox. Um, I also use it for things like shopping. I mean, it could be things in my business. It could be all kinds of things. I'm I've really refined my awareness of, um, you know, when to go to a store because usually there will be a sale on the thing that I needed. When I'm guided to go to that store, then as opposed to so if I ask the question what would the planet be like in five years if I go today and I mean that whole concept obviously the planet is not going to be directly affected by whether I go to old navy today or tomorrow but so we that gets explained in the classes but it's the energy of of 
getting when it's the right time to do something and whether the thing is the right thing to do something, if I'm explaining that correctly anyway, from my, my point of view. So I will often check in and I'll be like, I know there's an awareness to go to this place for something, but it's not today. And then another day I'll be like, okay, go now. And then I find the thing and it might be like on sale 75% off or something like that. This morning I went to, um, I'm a crafter, a knitter, a spinner. So this morning I went to um, a fiber fest about an hour away. I put it on once a year. And I knew that if I were to get something, it would have to be something unique and special. And I love special fiber that's sparkly, of course, you know, for spinning. And I walked around and I knew I had not found the thing. And so I waited and then I went all over and I saw one little thing of fiber that I really loved from a, a, a person that I adore her stuff. And it was, nope. And I was thinking, why? <laughs> it's so cheap. This is perfect. I love this. Why am I getting a no? But I, okay, great. You know, my, whether it's the universe, whether it's the infinite me knows more than my brain. So I listened to that awareness and then I kept walking around and it ended up in this lady's booth who was selling her own stuff at like this crazy price. And I got this massive amount of the most gorgeous fiber with sparkles and everything for a ridiculous price. And I was like, that's it. <laughs> that's exactly what I came for. Now I can go. I'm done. So, you know, had I bought any of the, any of the other things that I just thought I wanted out of my brain, you know, I would not have been able to get that. And, and you know, like it, it's, so it's really cool when you, when you listen to that awareness. And so that's why that, I, for me, that tool has been really great to help me uh, hone that awareness even more and listen to it, pay attention to it. I love that, Diane. Thank you. And such a great example, because it's so true. I mean, it's not, it's, often we, we operate off of our conclusion or our justification of, hey, this is good, it's a good price. But when you follow that it's not the time or that it doesn't feel quite right, then like you say, you, you, you got way more, something that really lit you and your body up, got really excited about it. Like that's, that's awesome, I love it. I just wanna add one little piece. It's also that, you know, if you're, when you're functioning from your brain and, you know, if I, if, if I don't have that awareness, I'm walking around and I'm looking at all of these things and none of them are lighting me up, like you say, then I'm in my brain, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to make it wrong about me somehow. Like, I'm not feeling it because I don't have the cash. I'm not feeling it because I shouldn't be spending. I'm not feeling it because whatever, whatever, whatever. It's going to go to a wrongness of me. And whereas it just wasn't the right thing to buy it, you know, quote unquote, right. So it, that's a, that's another big piece of it for me. It's, there's never, it's never a wrongness of me. It's just the timing, the thing, and the awareness can move you beyond that. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for adding that. That's great. And for you guys watching, if you have questions, if you want to ask any of these guys who are sharing their tools, um, you can you can type it in, of course. We're happy to, to respond. The other two gals who were on before are still here. We will be adding them back. So if you've got questions for them or just general questions about the tools themselves, that's you can add them. And I know that Alan is just waiting to share his tool with us. <laughs> share his tool yeah he totally wants to share his tool with us it's been waiting. A terrible tool it is true <laughs> actually i'm going to be really really bad and do two uh, because the first one that popped yeah i know i'm sorry actually i'm not sorry at all um the very first one that i wanted to quickly share was um in 2012 i first started listening to glenice's radio show and that was just when i was coming out of my depression and i would tune in every single week without fail and I remember after about a year of listening to you, Glenice, I remember asking the question, what would it take to meet this woman? And then two years later, like you're in London and we've got, I toast you every year and I consider you to be a friend. And it's like, wow, I had no point of view about how that would show up. So what would it take for dot, dot, dot to show up in my life or for this with no point of view and then let it go? It, it can change stuff truly and i'm so grateful that i asked that question 
because Glenys changed my life and still does. Oh, I'm so grateful you asked it too, because, you know, <laughs> back at you, buddy. <laughs> so now I get to share another of my tools with you. <laughs> you don't know that I had two. <laughs> don't go visual. So <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak now. So one of the, the, the tool that I really wanted to talk about uh, is the 10 keys uh, to freedom. And I really have only started playing with them in this last year like really looking at the tool. And so I'm not gonna go through all of them because that would just take forever. But I, I recently had this episode where something was going on in my body and I wasn't sure what it was. So I'm sitting in the accident and emergency at three, half past three in the morning and wondering whether my heart's about to kind of kick out. And so the 10 keys, there's 10 of these different kind of bits to it that help you to have total freedom. So one of them is living in 10 second increments. And so it, like I'm sitting there in the waiting room for the doctor who doesn't arrive for three and a half hours <laughs> to come and tell me there's nothing wrong with my heart. And I'm sitting there going, okay, so in this 10 seconds, do I choose to still sit in here? In this 10 seconds, do I choose to just have a heart attack and die? It's like, oh, this concept, what am I choosing in this 10 seconds? What am I choosing? And it keeps me present rather than projecting and creating crap, <laughs> right? So that's, that's kind of one bit of it. And then living as the question is another one of the, of the keys. So what else is possible here? What else is going on? What am I aware of? What can I change? What can I choose? So this is, this is all the stuff that goes through my head as one of the keys. And it creates for me so much space. Um, what was the last? Oh, there was a bit about competition because there are loads of people sitting in the waiting room who clearly go there every week, right? These are serial emergency room goers and they know how to work the system and they're all doing competition with each other. I'm like, huh, they're all doing competition. Cool. They're all competing about who gets to see the doctor first. None of them did because there was nothing wrong with any of them, which was interesting. Um, I eventually get to see a doctor and none of them did. So that was, that was interesting. So when you're living these tools, like never buy or tell the story, I, you know, I could get into a story about all of this stuff, about how dreadful it was. The reason I'm using this now is it's not about story. So I can illustrate to people, look, this is the freedom that you can experience. The whole time I was there, I didn't really get stressed. And Bill was, he's my partner, and, and he's like, I'm going, what do you need from me? And afterwards, he said, like, how do you remain so calm? Because I got the 10 keys, baby. <laughs> so that's kind of one of my favorite tools now if I am I if so something's coming up in my life I'm not sure about like if I'm having resistance and reaction then my question is which of the ten keys am I not using here and I got my little book which tells me so I can look at it and change it oh I love that Alan I absolutely love that and that the ten keys to freedom is what we talk about one of the many things we talk about in foundation and I have facilitated foundation almost sixty times probably by the time. I get to um, Sweden. Sweden might be my 60th time, depending on how many other classes come up before then. And that is always discussed in the class. Yeah. Always. There's that, the, there's a couple things in the class that is absolutely, I ensure and I read it from the book. So I don't miss a thing because they're so brilliant. And the 10 keys to freedom are that because it, it's truly that the 10 keys to freedom. They're yeah. not kidding. Um, and of course, it is in book form. So you can buy it from Access Consciousness. You can probably find it on right there. Uh, you can probably go on to Amazon and find it or accessconsciousness.com. It's an amazing book and amazing, amazing tools. Mm. So thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm actually going to share one of my recent favorite tools before we finish up today. And it's such a simple tool. Uh, but I had a, I took a class with Gary Douglas, the founder of Access a couple of weeks ago, all about creating what you'd like and, and asking and receiving and that sort of stuff. And so I asked, I asked him a question around kind of asking for what you'd like and being clear and getting specific and all that sort of stuff that, that, uh, that I was interested in. And he gave me the most simple basic tool ever, which you might've even used yourself, or you might've seen people use on Facebook or stuff. 
but he says, when you see somebody who has something you'd like, or you, they're being an energy, or there's something that's really yummy, you know, so even if you happen to watch those videos of the whales that Tanya took, you know, and they just get like really excited about that, or you maybe see somebody's new house or their new car or their new love or, or their whatever, and it gets you really excited, just say universe, I'll have that. From no point of view, no expectation, and not even the definition that it has to be that, that specific thing. Because even the, the energy that Tanya was being in that video and the, the energy the whales were being, you could have that sitting on a beach somewhere with your sunglasses on having a nap. You could have that driving a really cool car that lit your body up. But just asking, just being aware of in that moment that you'd actually like that and universe, I'll have that with no point of view of how it shows up. So there you go. Some really phenomenal tools from Access Consciousness, guys, to, to play with. And I always use the hashtag. Well, I don't always use it, but I often use the hashtag. And even on my radio show, get your butt to foundation. If this stuff lights you up, get your butt to foundation because there's so much more. There's so, so much more. And of course, we've got classes in in Alaska, in Sweden, in Ontario, in England, in Lloydminster, Saskatchewan, slash Alberta, and wherever you are, there's probably a foundation class nearby. So check accessconsciousness.com and get your butt to foundation because it's phenomenal. phenomenal. Or invite Glennies. Invite Glennie. <laughs> invite Glennie. Just saying. <laughs> Really? Yes, but you have to have a sunset, an ocean, a sunrise, an ocean, or beaver tail. <laughs> afternoon tea. Afternoon tea. Yes, you know what? There we go. Afternoon tea. Cool. Lenise, can I add something? And I can't hear Alan, so I don't want to interrupt him. And I, I, I don't. I hope I'm not interrupting Alan. Yeah, go ahead, um, Diane. I just wanted to say. It's, and it's more than just learning tools. I mean, just learning, just learning tools is fantastic. And these are tools you can apply to your personal life and to your professional life. You know, whether you're working for somebody else or you're self-employed, it doesn't matter. But it's, you know, found, foundation of bars together is five days of like heaven. But the foundation, it's four days of not just learning tools and, and, and like processes, it's also like body stuff. It's also body work. So most of the time you're laying on tables, getting work done on you and, and, and then also reciprocating. And we, I don't know what, I feel like we don't often talk about that, but those are other tools that we learn that are body processes. They feel so good. If anybody's familiar with Reiki or other kinds of energy work where you're laying down, similar not the same but you know sort of that similar thing so if you can just imagine that you're doing that for four days like that's a vacation <laughs> so, <laughs> seriously it's very very um it's relaxing you're going to clear a lot of stuff you're going to learn a lot of stuff it, you know and and like anything else you're going to get as much out of it as you bring to it right so yeah i just wanted to say Perfect. that and thank you, Diane, because you're right. It is something we do. We do a lot of body processes that you learn, I think, three or four, maybe even five in, in foundation. And then I also encourage, you don't have to, but I always encourage people in foundation to get their bars ran every day. So you have four days, potentially five, if you take bars the day before, if we're offering it, of you're getting your bars ran in a row which in my experience can create exponential, exponential change. Exponential. <laughs> it really doesn't work anything for your, for how you speak, but it does wonders for the rest of your life. So that also is something that, that I always encourage in classes too. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. All of you, uh, we will be bringing Carrie and Katerina back on here shortly. Uh, Tanya, anything else to add or just a goodbye to everybody? I'm just excited. I'm not sure if um, the foundation in Sitka will be my first one. We'll see what happens. I'm leaving it open to possibility because I am just so thrilled to be able to take foundation and to be able to have it here in Alaska. Um, Alaska is in a very populous state. So um, when I had originally gone on the Access website, to see where classes uh, where foundation class might be offered here. Uh, there actually weren't any scheduled already. So I don't think 
It's something that happens often. And so uh, fortunately there is an Alaska network go up north for a couple of days to Anchorage area and was able to take uh, my first bars class. And like I said, that was just so amazing. So I am just thrilled um, to be able to bring foundation here. And of course, to bring you here to Glenys. I can't wait to meet you in person. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hope we I, I hope lots of people come to join us and play with us here. Awesome. Thank you, Miss Tanya. So we're gonna say goodbye mm -hmm. to you and we will bring Miss Katarina back. Hi. Awesome. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Anything else to Hello. add? Yes, I would just uh, like to say that you really get a strong after foundation. You, nothing will stop you. You're just uh, like, wow, what am I going to create now? So that's a really, really great uh, feeling. So uh, I've done three foundations and uh, it's just getting better and better. And I can't wait for Glynis Foundation in Sweden in May. It will be magnificent. Uh, whoa. I hope many people come to Sweden uh, and we have a very lovely uh, venue to be with the ocean view. So May in Sweden. Yes. 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 Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Katerina. Uh, okay. So Miss Diane, would you like to add anything else? Or well, I don't have it? an ocean to show you, but we can go sit by the Ottawa River if you'd like. We can go look at the canal. <laughs> Hey, but the fireworks, that show, what is that show we went to that night? That was amazing. Uh, a sound and light show at Parliament Hill. Yeah. Yes. That was amazing. Yes. So, yeah, it's a great place to visit if anybody wants to come from out of town. I think, you know, the, the really cool thing about these classes is they are everywhere. Well, maybe not in Alaska, but they're, they're in a lot of places. But also, sometimes it's fun to get away. Um, and to go to a class somewhere. Sometimes people bring their families. I like to do these things by myself and just have alone time and hang out with the people in the class. And so, you know, pick a place and, and go for it if, it if it's calling to you. And, and the class, the, you know, the manuals change. Within a year, they might be the same manual, but your facilitator is different. The people in your classes are different. You meet different people, and each facilitator and participant brings their own energy to these classes. So, again, check with your awareness on which one would create the most for you and, and go for it. This is not something that you can only take if you're going to be a practitioner or a facilitator. This is stuff you learn and integrate into your life and just tools that you use to just to create more and, and to have more ease and, and just to, you know, get out of the space of victim and to, into the space of creating. That's my point of view. <laughs> yes, I hear you. I hear you. Awesome. Thank you, Miss Diane. I am going to bring Miss Carrie back on here. All right, Miss Carrie, any, any final words? You know, I, like this, I'm heading for my third foundation this year, and it is amazing to me how much change has been created. Uh, I've had three, I've taken foundation three times, and you know, there was a big gap between the first and second, and I'm so excited to be pulling a Canadian hat trick, and maybe that's not Canadian. Anyway, this year, <laughs> and maybe more, uh, to see what else is possible. And the one thing that always pops for me is, you know, though things will pop up in life, and I'll be like, Oh, you know, money, I'm spending money. And really, I love that Access offers repeat pricing. I love that each and every class is such a contribution and it is not the same. And Diane touched on that so beautifully, you know, it's really not the same. So I took a class in May and again at the, in, I guess, August. And it was amazing. And the participants just, and it was the same facilitator. I'm pretty <laughs> fond of the facilitator. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was just awesome, you know, and I love it. So um, it's creating more and just using the tools to step out of that uh, anytime that financial crazy starts to pop in, if it does. And knowing that for me personally, these foundation classes have created more, tangibly more, as well as in my head. <laughs> well said. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's more spaciousness in there and I'm loving that. <laughs> 
So I'm super grateful to you, Glenice, and to all the participants, you know, what uh, contribution. It's just awesome. Thank you, Carrie. And thank you for bringing that up too about the, the repeat pricing, because it is something that Access is, as far as I know, the only place that does it, um, and maybe there's others. But yeah, if you've taken bars anytime, any, any time before, doesn't matter if it's 25 years ago, you get half price. And if you have taken foundation in the last 12 months, it is then half price. And all you need to do is log into your um, profile if you have one on Access Consciousness to find out what your price is in your country. Because that's the other thing. As Canadians, we are what is called an 80% country, which means we pay the, the, the price in Canadian dollars. So just log in, you'll find out what your what your price is. And if you don't have an account, you haven't taken the classes before, you can create a profile and that's how you register for classes also. So thank you, Miss Carrie. How about you, Mr. Allen? Foundation is for life, not just for Christmas. <laughs> right? That's what I want to say. And <laughs> it is for life, not just for Christmas. Um, <laughs> And, you know, for me, I've done, I, by the time I do your foundation this year, it will be three times this year. And I don't think you can ever do foundation too many times. The change I get from the updated manuals and this new manual is amazing, truly. It's much more succinct than any of the others I've seen. There's some powerful stuff in it. And, like, how much change are you willing to have? And how much fun are you willing to have? Truly. A lot of stuff I've done in the past has been very serious making change and letting go of crap a serious business and you know what i find that just doesn't work for me and that's one of the reasons why i adore you glenice is because we have a bucket load of fun so whether you choose glenice whether you choose someone else or whether you choose to go the whole hog and be a facilitator yourself just saying you might want to have a look at that um because how much fun can you have traveling the world, inviting other people to use these tools? And what a joy facil uh, facilitating foundation is when you see the change that people choose if they desire it. So have some fun. Come and have fun. Come, jo come join us in London in September. <laughs> but no, 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 don't. No, don't. Because it'll be too much fun. Too much fun. Yeah. yeah, way too much fun. Awesome. Too well, fun. thank you guys so much. Thank you. Hosts, I am so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you and all of you viewing and watching and commenting and saying hello and all of you that uh, are gonna look at it after and comment and all of that. Thank you so much. And if you've got any questions at any point you're watching this, just, uh, just type them below and I'm sure one of us will be able to respond and assist you. And yeah, what else is possible oh, on this beautiful planet of ours that we've never even considered? Awesome. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you. Bye.